Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Uncle Matt here. We are in Atlanta, Georgia. Got a fun day planned today, starting out with going to the Braves game. It'll be my first time checking out Truist Park and the battery, the little area they have there for like pregame, postgame activities. Uh, then later on tonight, we're going to go see Yellow Card. I think it's going to be two separate videos, but you'll figure that out as we go because I will we'll determine that by the time I post this video. So you'll learn as you go. So stay tuned to find out if this is part one or part two or if it's just one big video. That's what makes this channel fun. You never know what I'm going to do because I don't know what I'm going to do. But I know what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go down to the lobby here at the Hampton Inn, see what's on the breakfast menu, get a little grub to get the day going, and we'll take it from there. All right, so we're starting out with a nice big breakfast scramble. It's just like eggs, sausage, potatoes, biscuits, and gravy all mashed up together. Didn't highlight this when we arrived, but there is a fitness center. It's got like, you can't really see through this stuff, but it's got like three pieces of equipment in there. Also have a decent little outdoor pool here. Okay, so the friends I'm going to the baseball game with are staying at a different hotel than from, from me, but it is just literally like right across the street from me, so I'm walking over there to meet them, and then we are going to head to the battery. I'm gonna ride the Marta at least once while we're down here. Yeah, do it. I haven't been on Marta in forever. Just to ride it, like down Yeah. Yeah, I might just get on the train, see where it takes me. Remember that time? Was it Kyle? That put like a $20 bill into the Marta token machine and it spit out like $20 worth of tokens and he only needed one. <laughs> so he had to carry around like 20 gold coins for the rest of the night. He was like giving them to people at like the station. He's like, does anybody need an extra token? I have far too many. All right, so we're curious about what parking situation would be like because it's like a midday game on a Thursday. But this uh, swap in, uh, Indian cuisine place is just like a open parking, like 40 bucks. They'd say once you park here once, you get $35 parking every time you come back. So not a terrible deal. All right, so we've reached the battery. A lot of different options, a lot of different stuff here. I guess we'll find somewhere to uh, hang out a little bit before game time. Oh, I thought that was gonna be like a scoreboard light, but it's a crane. I'm an idiot. All right, so if you know me, you know I'm not a drinker, but much like the Dora up in Cincinnati, we got a little walk-up bars here. So I got the margarita, cause you know, you go with the flow, you do what you're doing when other people are doing those things. So here we go, cheers. Margarita. I was comparing this to the Dora, but this is like the Dora on crack. There's like 500 places. This is awesome. This is like a full map of the battery here. Doesn't really like say what any of the shops and stuff are, but it just gives you an idea of how expansive the area is. Pre-game broadcast crews out here, some fans behind showing up the big heads. Definitely I can see Peter Moylan over there, and I don't know who else, but pre-game show is on and popping. That was weird. This store's cool, it's like kind of like trendy, like fancy looking stuff, but with Braves on it. Nice denim jacket, 17 stretch. Kind of cool, like a 90s looking kind of shirt. Oh, it's homage. They make all those cool Titan shirts. If they had this in men's sizes, I'd probably get it. Into the Braves Vortex. All right, so I saw this place called Punch Bowl Social, and I'm thinking of like the fish bowls we get in Cincinnati, and I wonder if it's the same thing. This place is kind of cool. They got foosball. They got a little inside cornhole board. This is nice. Another foosball table, ping pong tables. This is a nice spot. I like this place. All right, with that, we are making our way in. Wouldn't call these prices cheap, but compared to Geodes Park, we're doing all right. Can you look at this damn sandwich right here. Oh my. Yeah. All right, this is cool. This is like the history section where they've got all the 
history of the team documented and everything like this. This is very cool, very, very cool. Some of the old classic jerseys on display here. Back in the Boston days, the Babe Ruth Boston Braves. What a time. It's like a Pirates jersey. More of the classic jerseys here. That light blue one's always been a favorite of mine. Some of the individual awards that Braves players have won over the years. Here's the big prizes. 2021 NL champs. World Series champs. It's funny, these are the old style NL championship trophies. There's the OG, the 95 World Series trophy. It's crazy it's how different 95 to 2001 is. Like this is a baby ring compared to that Goliath over there. It's a interesting name for a food stand at a baseball game. I don't want to eat vegan food, but I'm kind of tempted to just because of the name. All right, we're in. And we are just a touch in front of the overhang where we don't get the shade. I highlighted this in a few recent videos, but I love how like modern stadiums, especially baseball stadiums, have opened the trend of like, you can always see the field from wherever you are. So if you're walking around the concourse, you can always like turn around and see the game. All right, so this is like the children's play area. They've got like chop them all, pick them up, shoot stuff. Zip line, oh my God, that looks like fun. Oh, those kids almost died. I could have killed them, that's not safe. Got a rock wall, pitching cage. All right, so you know me, I'm not a drinker, but they've got this beer bat for sale here. It just seemed like a novelty thing that was kind of cool, so I had to do it. That's beer. Strider on the mound, this is as good a game as you can come to right now. Although that was a 3-2 pitch. Come on, Spencer, get your first K of the day. Keep that breeze coming. Oh my days, that feels good. Everybody, okay, everybody just walks in front of us now. It's a blooper. I'm not really sure what the outfit is today. So it's supposed to be the burger spot here, so we're gonna try the original. Looks pretty good. Oh man, give it fries too. Dang, this thing looks pretty solid. Blooper out in the wild. So we're in a different costume than we saw him last time. Good, how are you? Asian Emperor, let's give a shot. I don't like a bunch of flies on my burger. Not my bad. Blooper again. He's all over the place. <laughs> all right, so brief lull in the game. So we're going to check out the Club House store, see if there's anything worth buying. I'm due for a new Brave set, I think. Immediately want all of these polos. I'm sure they're way too expensive for me. Yup. If I was ever going to get a player jersey. This would be the one. I'm a fan of these for sure. Wait, what are we looking at price tag wise? Nope. Love it. Too much. Love it. Too much. I need more subscribers so I can buy these shirts. Huge selection of caps available here. As you would expect with a baseball team, caps are like part and parcel of baseball, but I'm gonna go with the City Connect hat. But I'm gonna go with the dad hat version with the strap on the back, not the fitted version, because my head seems to alter in size. Like my fitted caps I used to have don't fit anymore, so it's something I can always adjust. There we go. Arcia, all star, on fire. Of course it happens while we're in the team store. I don't know any scenario or whatever wear it, but this jacket is fire. All right, so here's the jersey I'm wearing today. 115, the Cooperstown collection. 
DH gate, my friends. I had to get a little closer on this one because it's a bunch of uh, little blooper heads. Still too expensive. Braves team store has a lottery machine <laughs> for some reason. Graves are up 1-0. Strider just gave up back-to-back -back home runs. Got pulled. He had a good performance up to the end. Both pitchers were really good for the first, like, five or six innings. Now it's, I think, 4-1 Diamondbacks now in the seventh. All right, here's what we came out of the store with. I got the City Connect hat, but the, like, uh, strapped-up dad hat version. Got one of those silicone shot glasses like I have for Nashville SC, but Braves version. And a koozie. I, I seem to buy like a thousand koozies, but I never remember to bring them anywhere where you would use a koozie. But I got another koozie with a peach butt. This is pretty cool on the inside of the City Connect hat. It's got like the design inside, but it also has Keep Swinging 44. Flipping our view, trying to change the mojo here. So I'm a big fan of this koozie, but if you're a drinker, it does not actually fit the beers they have here. So I'm not a drinker, but for those of you that are, just, just know, this is a at-home koozie mostly. John, Maddie. Good eye, good eye, good eye. That away, that away. Good eye, good eye, good eye. Get deep, get deep. Corbin Carroll, two strikes, two outs, bombs a home run right into the chop house. 5-3 Diamondbacks. That is unfortunate. Uh, we got some like jets flying around the stadium right now. Let's go! Braves need some bombs, but there's some bomber jets just randomly firing around the stadium. Come on, Michael Harris. There he goes again. There you go. Scoring position. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, Mikey. This is the guy you went up in this spot. Ronnie. Oh. Not to us. right here we got Mikey on second come on Wiz stay alive stay alive full count full count walk him walk him good job Ozzy way to get on way to get on Two on, big chance here. Come on, come on, Riley. Come on, Riley. Let's go party. Yeah. Yeah. Freeman all 
day every day. Let's freaking go! Yes! Yes! Bottom of the ninth. Iglesias in to close it out. Let's shut it down, boy. Shut it down. Shut it down. We got a yellow card to concert to go to. We can't afford extra innings. So the Braves run like a five game losing streak, maybe like four or five game losing streak before I got here. I don't want to say I saved them. I don't want to say I resurrected the Braves, but I think I kind of did. Credit to me. All right, so if you know me, I'm not a drinker, but the uh, Punch Bowl Social like outside stand here in the battery had a uh, Terrapin Brewing Company Los Bravos beer, which I mean, if you're a Braves fan, Terrapin Brewing Company's local to Atlanta. Lost Bravos. Just felt like you had to try it, so cheers. That's a beer. All right, we're at another Mexican restaurant. I don't think I'm gonna eat anything here other than like chips, but if you're curious, pause. I'm flying by it, but here's the menu. <laughs> so we got two different salsas. One's green and one is poop green. <laughs> so I'm going to try the poop green first. Bon Appetit. You think mild is hot, so you're going to think that's hot. That's pretty good. Let's try the baby salsa. I'm dipping in yours. You get your own bowls here, but I'm stealing somebody else's. Good chips and salsa. Is Georgia the Mexico of America? People are asking. My God, what a Papa John's this is. I think I need to go eat there. It's like a whole building of Papa John's. Back at the hotel, awesome game, big win for the Braves. Hopefully that rights the ships, gets them back on the uh, winning track after a little bit of a losing skid. But uh, we're gonna spiffy up here at the hotel, relax, rest a little bit, and then in a little bit we're gonna head over to see Yellow Card live in concert here in Atlanta. That'll be in the next vlog, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the bell turned on for notifications so you see that one when it goes live. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh.